Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and right now you probably see my terminal like um, freaking out. That's just because, um, for the fun of it, I made a command. I just typed in a command that makes it um, display all your files. Okay, so basically, uh, what this video is about is I'm going to show you how to make your own terminal themes. So right now you can see um, mine set to um, this awesome black with these awesome coloring and this awesome awesomeness. I'm going to teach you how to make your own theme. And also, how to make your own cursors, because sometimes the default cursor is over a letter and you can't really tell if you're deleting it or you're on the next letter or what, and that confuses a lot of people, including me sometimes. So I just made mine a vertical bar. So, how do you do this? You go into Safari Preferences, you can access it by pressing Apple comma, or going into, I mean, Terminal Preferences, I don't know why I said Safari, or you can go into Terminal and say Preferences. So to add a theme, Okay, but you can use any of their theme, and you can I'll, I'll open a new window without making the, the default theme by just holding over a terminal and saying new window and whatever theme you want. And you'll have a terminal in that theme. But to make your own theme, what you do, I'll just close this, is you hit this little plus right over there. That'll make a new theme, I guess. You can call this my theme. Okay, you can... Go to my theme. Right now, it's everything's going to be like the default. It'll automatically be the default. So you can change whatever you want. So you can change the font. Let's make it, I don't know, um, all fonts. What's a cool one? Let's see. Let's open a new terminal window so you can see what the themes look like. Oh, you can't see. Okay. My bad. Let's just do Helvetica. I know what that one looks like. H Helvetica, and then I'll do a big like 18. You can also um so this is what Helvetica looks like, and you can space out the characters or you can squish them together. I like them like around when like that big, and you can space out the lines too. So I don't know. Okay. Also, you can um customize a lot of other stuff. You can um, customize the cursor, right? You can see that right here. If I type ls, and then I want to delete the s or type something in between it. Right now it's transparent, but for some of them they're not. So if you want to make it a vertical bar, you can just change it to a vertical bar. And here it's more easy to see what I'm doing. You can also um, change the color of the cursor. I can make it red, green, or whatever I want. I can make it an underline. I can have it blink. See, so now I can tell that I'm typing. Okay, and for um, the text, you can change the color of it. You can have that text like that, and you can have bold text, orange, and you can have whatever you select in blue. So if I select something, it'll be blue. Okay, I'll make it a darker blue. Okay, let's go into colors. And a darker blue. There we go. There. Okay. Now, um, you can also um, change a lot of st other stuff. As you can see over here, you can um, you can have it start up with an ls command. So now, when you start it up, you automatically know where you are and all that. You can also um, say um, when shell exits to close that window or close everything or whatever you can also have a, I'll customize a lot of other stuff so you can customize the background color make it black change it make it transparent so this would be a fully transparent terminal window or I could have um, I don't know a red one that's half transparent a lot of people don't know and they just stick with the default themes. So I recommend you make your own theme. That way when you play around with Terminal, you're really happy with what you're doing. You're like, yes, I'm in Terminal, because a lot of people are scared of Terminal. So if you customize it, you really know that you know what you're doing. I don't know. At least I feel that way. Okay, so I'm just going to make it see-through, because I don't know, see-through windows make me happy for some reason. Maybe they do with you too. So you can customize the background window. You can um, title it. Like, well, there it says terminal. I can call this um, fun 
with the OS. And there it says fun with the OS. And then you can have it say uh, not the dimensions and not the process name. So there it just says fun with the OS and um, customize what the keyboard does. You can add stuff. And so, I don't know. So just I recommend just going here and playing around with it. And also the icon for your theme is whatever you did net your theme last. So if I highlight everything and then I close it, you'll see that there everything's hidden and closed. So thank you for watching MacHeads101. Subscribe and goodbye.